Um, as Nigerians continue to groan over economic hardship caused by rising price of food and services, the president, our president, says that no amount of aid coming from foreign countries can take Nigeria um, to a better place that we want to be. In other words, we have to tax ourselves. We have to do it ourselves. But how do we even do it ourselves when the thing you are selling, you are not even seeing the capital which, that you put in? How do we tax ourselves when we cannot go to school and comfortably sit down to study? How do we tax ourselves when a common man cannot pay school fees anymore? How do we tax ourselves when food, the least food are Nigerians, will eat to survive? They cannot afford it anymore. How do we tax ourselves when... The farmers can no longer go to farm because of insecurity. In Kadun, Castina State, we just read in the news this morning that about, about 12 of them have been killed. Adding to, from February till now, they have killed um, up to 30 fishermen. How do we tax ourselves when environment is not conducive for us to do anything? Well, I think I agree with him on the aspect that um, we don't necessarily need to rely on foreign aid to develop. Reason is this, the givers of foreign, the foreign aid most times come with conditionalities. Even the foreign aid that come with institutions like the Bretton Woods institutions, they come with conditionalities. And at times, or um, in most cases, these conditionalities may not be in your own favor. Mm. Like they say, he that pays the piper, they taste the tune. So if I'm giving you aid, I'm going to detect to you what to do with the aid, and if you agree, I give you. If you don't agree, and all that, so that's true. But beyond pointing out the obvious, what is the government doing that is to the ensure question. <coughs> that this is true? You can't tell us this. Then the next minute, you are probably making plans on how to borrow money from foreign organization. Because the debt profile of the country is also something. I mean, look at those statistics there. They are al al alarming. You can't be borrowing from nations and or from foreign organizations. Then you come back to tell us, oh, we must, we need to walk the talk. And the government officials also have to live by example. What is their lifestyle like? If you go back a little bit to this year budget, it's it's an absurdity in the sense that it's embarrassing. The, the allocations made is not an indication of a people who want to build capacity for local content. How much was allocated to education, health sector, agriculture, and other critical sectors as compared to what was allocated to some frivolities like buying of cars mm. for government officials. I mean, when you even talk about local content, beyond it, the things we can afford, why can't we get it here? Like, I mean, like the buying of cars, why didn't we consider some locally made cars? I mean, we are just talking about And then our, we have to tax ourselves. Yes, and we just talked about the anthem. Now we left <laughs> our locally made <laughs> anthem I, to go I saw, foreign. I, I saw a, a, a story this morning, and an analysis that uh, the governor of Abia State is making is uh, doing away with innocence, um, mm -hmm. you know, a particular uh, car, and then others are still important. You know that when our president um, assumed office, the first thing he did was to travel to France in order to call them to help us a bit do collaborate with also fighting security and also sustainable economy. And then he has been doing that for over a period of time. And then you mentioned something that maybe be is because all of this is coming with um, uh, a price that you have to pay. So that is why it's coming up to say we cannot rely on these people. We are not saying that what the president is saying is wrong, but we are saying how are we going to help ourselves when the insecurity in the state is on the high? How can we possibly help ourselves when you are not certain of, like, you, you are not certain that if you step out of your house, you can possibly return because of what is going on? How do we fight that? Absolutely. That's why I said we, it's not by saying this. We have to walk the talk. How do we walk because the talk? Because one of the ways, one of the reasons we rely on foreign aid and foreign food is because we can't produce them locally. And it's, it's saddening to think that we have to import some of the things we can produce locally. For example, until the Ukraine war, Russia, Ukraine, where many people didn't know we imported grain from that country. Meanwhile, we have a vast array of land 
that we can 